Okay, this one's gonna be on Squid, and uh, this is gonna be for Windows. So uh, I'm gonna show you how to download it and how to set it up. So the first thing you wanna do is uh, you wanna go ahead and download it. So go to squid.dildel.com, and I'll leave the description. So once you uh, download it, basically just if you see here, there's a Squid for Windows, and then there's a download MSI. So just go ahead and get that. So uh, once you have it downloaded onto your computer, the next thing would be to uh, go ahead and run it, install it. So let's do that. Let's go to downloads and uh, let's go to squid over here and let's go ahead and install it. So this is very simple. Just accept next, next, install. And that's pretty much it for the installation. The next part is going to be the uh, post installation. Uh, as far as we're going to configure certain things. So I'm going to show you how to uh, be able to change the port because by default it's going to be 3128. So we're going to change it to something completely different. Uh, also, I'm going to show you a couple other things like how to set up custom ACLs and a couple other things like uh, setting up a default DNS or your preferred DNS and uh, setting up the cache. Uh, so uh, I'm going to show you that as well. So hopefully this won't take too long. I am using VirtualBox so it could be a little bit slower than usual. Okay, so here we go. As you see, you got a squid terminal and you got the squid server tray. So we're going to be using both. All right, so now that we're finished, let's just click on that. And okay, so as you see, this is the squid server tray. You can leave it over here if you want, but it's also going to be here by default. So if you click on it and you uh, go ahead and go to, if you see start is not highlighted, so it's a grayish color, that means it's running. If I was to click on this, then it would, uh, let me click on it. So as you see, so now it's, uh, this one's on gray, so it means that it's stopped, so. All right, so let's go to the configuration. So to do that, uh, go to the open squid configuration, very first one, and here we go. So the first thing we wanna do is uh, let's, uh, let me look at the notes over here. So let's go to the, let's create a backup so let's do that so to do that let's go to should be under computer c squid under um what is it under etc and then squid and it's gonna be this one squid and then com file so we're gonna create uh copy this oh uh, well no we don't need to see paste okay so we got this one called squid.copy and that just in case something goes wrong we can always come back and uh, use this one but we're gonna be working on the original one so it's the copy is basically just there for uh, to be on the safe side if we have to go back and uh, go back to the default settings okay so the next thing let's go back over here and we're gonna go ahead and get started so let's uh, First, let's go ahead and change the squid uh, default port. So by default, let me see, it should be 3128. So to be on the safe side, we're gonna give it a, we're gonna make it uh, 11,110. So this way we're gonna be pretty safe. We don't have to worry about uh, anybody guessing the port or trying to, uh, you know, just bas basically for best practice. Uh, it's This is what we're gonna use, so. After that, we can go ahead and save it. And now to uh, be able to use it, we're gonna go ahead and click on the uh, system tray again. We're gonna go ahead and start squid. So uh, we're gonna click on yes. And now we go to the Firefox over here. And if we try to access any website, it should not allow us, or it might depending on uh, this. Let me see, let me go to what you want to do is you want to go to tools options depending on which firefox you have the most important thing is get to the network proxy and then settings okay so in here i have port 8080 so it should not allow me to go to any websites 
So we'll see what happens. As you see, connection failed. So now let's go back to options settings and we're going to change that to 11,010. So 11,110. OK. And then we're going to click OK. Now let's go back in. Let's go to uh, any website, really. Let's go to uh, GitHub. OK, so there we go. We're on. We're in GitHub. So everything's working and you're running off the uh, port and uh, by the way this uh, IP is just the uh, if you need to figure it out it's pretty simple go to your terminal or your command prompt and type in IP config and just go ahead and grab your IP before address so that's pretty much it then after that just copy that in here and give it the port that you set up so that's it now we have it set up what else can we do let's see let's look at the notes here uh, we're gonna create a and this one here, uh, we don't have to worry about it on Windows. The uh, HTTP access allow local net because by default it's already set up to uh, to do that. So if you see here, allow local net, this is by default already uh, uncommented. But if for some reason it's not, I mean yours is commented, just go ahead and uncomment that. So uh, let's move on to the next one. So next we're going to create a custom ACL to block websites so we're gonna do that and uh, one thing we want to do over here is go to the uh, go to the uh, we're gonna be working off of the I want to say squid etc squid so yeah right here we can just create a new file and make it a text document and uh, not rich text document, just a regular text document. Okay, and we're gonna call this one locked sites. Okay, and in here we can go ahead and open it, and we're gonna go ahead and put some block sites that we don't want our browser to uh, navigate to. So for that, we're gonna say www. Facebook dot com uh, www dot yahoo dot com www dot uh, what's another aol dot com www dot let's see what else we can do msn dot com so all right so that's good enough now we just go ahead and save this we can actually close this now but we got to remember the name of it which is block sites now let's go back to the uh, proxy uh, to the squid.com file and we're going to go ahead and create a custom ACL so let's see where we can do that so we're going to go ahead and create it so you would type in ACL and then the name of the file that we created so ACL and then uh, block website or yeah block websites I think I called it let me go back and double check block sites actually so very important it has to match the name so blocked it was a blocked or block blocked okay so blocked sites and then uh, we're gonna go ahead and do the DST domain so DST domain and then within single or double quotes it don't matter we're gonna give it the file name but we're gonna give it a path which uh, it let me see if I can go back over here. It's gonna be under. Actually, we don't have to give it a path. We just name it, give it the name of the uh, file. So, which is block site. So let's do that block. Okay, and then after that, we're gonna go ahead and do the HTTP access deny, and then we're gonna so do HTTP underscore access deny and then we're gonna do the uh, name of this here so blot sites okay and then just paste it and that's it so that's our custom ACL so we're gonna go ahead and save it of course we have to restart so we're gonna stop and then we're gonna go back in we're gonna start it 
okay now let's go to the let's try to go to the internet and let's try to go to facebook see what happens so facebook.com it should not allow that actually here we go i finally found the fix for it so make sure that is acl block sites dst domain and then we're going to pass it in make sure that it has a dot txt at the end and uh, make sure the path is there so it would be etc squid block sites and one thing we want to make sure over here under the block sites we just put a dot and then like the name of the website so anyways if i uh, go to the websites now so let's go to um let's go to yahoo.com so if i type in yahoo.com as you see it's not letting me in if i go to any other website like uh, youtube for example it'll let me go into that website so there we go uh, same thing for Facebook. If I want to go to Facebook, it's not going to allow me to go in there. So there you go. Okay, so that's how you set up the um, the custom ACL to uh, block websites. So you can add as many as you want in here. So Okay, so let's move on. The next one would be to allow cash. So you want to go ahead and allow cash. So to do that, let's... Uh, let me close this up over here and let's go to let's go over here and uh, you should already have a section somewhere where it's uh, okay this one right here so if you see where it says uncomment the line below this caching so all you gotta do is just go ahead and copy this here and then paste it here and we're gonna just change it to um, to bar squid cash and then we're gonna uh, change like this one is uh, what 3000 so I think it's 3 GB I'm not sure if I have uh, let me see how much disk space I have so you got to keep that in mind you don't want to give too much if you don't have uh... so let's uh, let's go to computer and okay so I got plenty right now so yeah we can give 3 GB no problem so but make sure you uh, check before you give uh, you can give as much as you want but you got to make sure that you have enough um, you have enough space reserved like you know for other stuff so alright so let's uh, come over here and uh, make sure that cash dirty bar squid cash so let's make sure that that's the correct path so to do that let's go to bar Oh, bar cash and then squid. So let's change that. So bar. Oh no no, it's correct. Bar cash squid. Okay. Or where are we at? No, it's actually here. Bar cash. So is this one here? So we're gonna do bar cash and then squid. Okay. This is the core dump directory. Okay. So let's make sure we change it to bar cash squid. And let me uh, go back in here and then we're gonna do a uh, squid one more time which for some reason it already has it I guess it uh, saved it from last time that I did it I had inst installed it so anyways I'm gonna go ahead and show you so make sure that we go back over here so we type in uh, bar cache squid make sure that that's correct so bar cache squid okay so that's it so we're in here so once you've done that, you can uh, go ahead and save this. And uh, what you want to do is uh, you want to go ahead and uh, we're going to go ahead and stop this here. And uh, then you can uh, start squid. But you want to go ahead and uh, to, um, to allow this to happen. So let me see if I, uh, I'm going to try to delete all this because I want to redo it. So hopefully it's going to allow me to delete all this. Okay. All right. So now it's empty. So we're going to go ahead and uh, use this, uh, what do you call it? This squid terminal in here and uh, make sure we run it as uh, 
administrator so we're gonna do yes and then uh, in here we're gonna type in squid dash c okay so if it's uh, it says already running so maybe we have to uh, stop it over here okay so let's stop it okay let's try it one more time see what happens and let's go back over here so there you go as you see it appeared so all this uh, stuff so now that you see all this we can go ahead and uh, start squid okay so there we go we're good now so we got the cache ready uh, let's move on so one thing we can do is uh, we can type of cache files allowed so we can go ahead and mess with that so let's close this up and let's go back here and uh, under the patterns over here at the bottom we can go ahead and copy this here and just throw it here at the top and paste it in there and uh, we'll leave all this by default but we're going to go ahead and change this here to a dot and then a asterisk or star and then uh, this deal here and then a star and then within uh, this deal here let me see what the actual one is we're gonna do uh, all this here so we're gonna do JPG and then make sure you put a pipe symbol there and then uh, JPG we can do uh, oops we can do PNG we can do uh, PDF we can do what's another one zip we can also do FLB we'll do the um, what else uh, let's see FLB uh, mp4 and we'll do WebM and actually we'll even do mp3 while we're at it and that's it so we just make sure that it's uh, matching so I don't think we require this here to but let me double check so let's go to I'm gonna CD into the okay so no that's not required so okay so let's remove this colon from there and that's it so basically you put let me uh, I don't think it's two two asterisks actually it's supposed to be a dot over here so it's dot asterisk and then this deal here and then a dot and then uh, within uh, this deal we're gonna put the type of files that we want to cache so then after that you just save it and uh, of course one thing I would recommend anytime you make changes stop it and then start it and test it out make sure that it's running so there we go and uh, one easy way is we can go to the terminal and then uh, do the um, do the uh, squid and then uh, we'll just do dash f and it's going to give us uh, a lot of different commands here that we can use so we want to see what uh, let's see dash k uh, we can do a check let's do that let's do squid dash uh, k and then we'll do check and see what happens uh, looks like nothing happened actually okay we'll just go ahead and uh, check out the browser anything goes wrong then we won't be able to go browse online so as you see everything is working so we're good okay so uh, all right so let's uh, go ahead and give some extra RAM to the uh, what do you call it to the squid manager to the squid conf 
so we're gonna do cache memory so to do that let's uh, I'm gonna go ahead and make this smaller I don't have to, I don't want to keep going back and forth with the nodes so let's do that let's uh, open up the configuration over here and we're gonna go look for the so we'll do a control F over here and see if we can locate if there's uh, this already entered somewhere if not we're gonna enter it so nothing can be found so let's go ahead and cancel this and let's go to the okay let's let's throw it somewhere over here at the bottom okay we'll, we'll, we'll go ahead and write cache and then underscore memory mem so we're going to give it 1024 depend you got to make sure that you have enough though so this would be one gig of ram so if you don't have that much to spare then don't give that much only give whatever you can spare so i'm going to put a note here a comment so okay okay we're going to go ahead and save it and we're going to go ahead and launch the um we're going to launch the uh or stop and start the squid server so we're gonna stop it and then we're gonna go ahead and uh, start it one more time okay and we're gonna go back and see if everything's still working is and everything's working so we're good okay let's see what else we can do here so we can set a minimum and a maximum uh, file size so this is supposed to be a good practice so let's uh, let's do that let's go back to the com file over here and we're gonna set that so we can just do it at the end over here and we're gonna set the uh, min and max uh, file size okay and uh, just to make sure we don't have it we can type in minimum see if anything comes up so nothing comes up okay so in here we can uh, go ahead and type in minimum and then underscore object it's underscore size and then we're gonna just give it 0 KB so that means 0 kilobytes so basically you can't go below I don't, well you can go in bytes I guess but anyways that's kilobytes so that's what we're setting okay then we'll set the maximum which is maximum And then underscore object size and then we'll set a, um, we'll set a maximum size and we'll do 120 GBs um, so that's that should be good there or not GBs I'm sorry <laughs> wow that, that's a lot 120 MBs okay we have already changed the uh, port default port settings so we don't have to worry about that let's see what else oh let's go ahead and save it and uh, test it out make sure that it's working so stop squid and then start okay and let's go in here and let's uh, just refresh this so as you see it's working no problem so if we go to this it's of course still refusing but if we go to github again it should allow us in there so there we go all right back to the conf file let's uh, check let's check on the DNS settings so if you see these are the DNS settings here so we'll just comment over here and say DNS settings and DNS servers by default is grabbing 8.8 .8 and then 2.8.67 so I actually prefer let me go ahead and cut this out Even though Google is supposed to be a little bit faster, I prefer uh, OpenDNS, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. So we'll create another one here, and this is gonna be for the for the Google one. So so you can do uh, two at a time. You can have uh, actually the faster one is 8.4.4, so we'll set that one up, and then uh, this one is the fast one for uh, OpenDNS. So. Uh, you can comment over here so like open DNS if you want and 
we'll say Google DNS. There we go. So we have the DNS settings ready. So if you want to test out, make sure that everything's still good, you can again just stop the squid server and we can go ahead and launch it again. Start, yes, and then go back to the browser and just go to any website. So there we go, it's working. Things that I noticed that are not working on Windows, maybe I'm putting them in the wrong spot, I don't know, but the skip host file system check and the uh, set host name are not uh, cooperating. So anyways, uh, after that, you can uh, set a UID if you want. Um, however, I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap it up. Uh, these are uh, a little bit more advanced, but uh, really they're uh, not that uh, special. They don't really do too much. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Now you should have a uh, working uh, Squid server, and uh, it's uh, able to cache and it's uh, able to use a dns that you want so uh anyways uh that's uh that's pretty much it for now bye